OK, good morning, everyone. In this talk, I'm going to tell you how to make the most out of the NASIS conference by creating a presentation about it. Doing that helps you codify what you've learned and become more of an expert, as well as looking like an expert to others. I'll boil it down to three easy steps, then give you more details on each. Step one, attend the NASIS conference. Check, you're already partway in. Uh, NASIS is my favorite conference, and it's the best place to see what's new and interesting in the world of cartography. I'll give you some tips on what to look for while you're here. Step two, using your notes and pictures from the conference, follow my guidelines to create a presentation full of pretty maps and interesting ideas. Step three, give your presentation, and voila, you're a cartography expert. Before I get into the details, let's talk for a minute about why you might want to do this. There's several reasons. It raises your profile locally, at work or in your community. It lets you look knowledgeable. And the glow from all this great cartography can reflect onto you. It's good practice giving a presentation, um, especially one that's compelling and easy to create. It promotes NASIS, and it could convince others to attend the conference next year. It promotes and gives credit to the cartographers whose work you'll highlight. But the most important reason, and the reason why I do it, is a selfish reason. It helps me process the overwhelming flood of information that I get at NASIS. It forces me to sit down and go through everything in a timely manner and actually make use of what I learn. Here's what to do while you're here to create a great presentation later. Take pictures. Don't forget things like the map gallery, both far away and close up of especially interesting maps, the main room, like this room, events like the night out and Jeopardy, and the city skyline or other landscape shots are also good to take. And you can take a few photos from the airplane as backup. Also, take notes. At a minimum, I record the title, presenters, and a brief summary of every talk I see. Even if you think you'll remember things, you probably won't. I type mine so they're searchable. Also, save presenters' slides. Every time someone gives the URL for their slides, or map, or project, I write it down. Um, that lets you be, uh, share one of their slides or images in your presentation or grab a detail you forgot. Um, you can also take photos of key slides during a presentation as a backup. Once or twice, I've used screenshots from the NASIS video recordings, too. Don't bother trying to organize your notes or photos now. NASIS is overwhelming enough. Just save everything you can for later. Also, while you're here, look for trends in people's slides. As a visual person, one of my favorite parts of creating this presentation each year is designing it. Now is the time to have fun and indulge in design trends you spot. Ooh, a, a gradient background. <laughs> I'm hoping to spot at least one of these this year. Each of the past three years at NASIS, I've noticed clear and strikingly different trends in slide design, which I then co-opted for my presentation about the conference. So I'm going to show you my slides for each year in about 15 seconds per year, just so that you can get a sense of the difference in slide design. Some years, slides tended to have black backgrounds, other years white. Sometimes presenters all seem to use a casual thrown together at the last minute look. <laughs> the kinds of images I've seen used have varied from the sketchy hand-drawn look common in 2016 to photography. Fonts get trendy too. Notice the font at the top? I feel like I'm seeing that everywhere right now. It's OK if your presentation looks dated later. The presentation is about a certain time and place, so it can look dated and connected to that particular time and place. If you're especially lucky, someone might even give a presentation about cartography trends. So once you're ready to sit down and actually make the presentation, here are some tips. I go through my notes. I sort all the talks I saw into categories. I copy and paste my typed notes into a new file with category headings. Then I look for any content trends, a subject that was mentioned a lot. Those things are good to highlight. Once it's all organized, I narrow it down to the things I want to cover and remove the rest. Be sure to give credit on every slide for images that aren't yours. On, either on the slide, out loud, and or in the presenter's notes if you'll be sharing your slides. All the photos in this presentation are mine, so I'm not doing that. I touch quickly on each individual map or presentation 
and then interested people in my, pres in my audience can follow up later on whatever they want to look into. I include the person or project's URL whenever I have it, and I shoot for about half an hour in length. Here's how I organize my presentation each year to give you an idea of the, the categories that I used. A satellite image of the conference city makes a nice slide background. Also, the skyline or city photo that you took makes a great title slide. At the beginning of the presentation, I like to include a slide or two that gives the atmosphere of the conference, the map gallery. This is where you will use the pictures that you took while you were here. And there are usually a few small gems that don't fit anywhere else, so I throw them together on a catch-all slide like these. Just little uh, snippets and, and odds and ends. Now that you have a great presentation created, who can you give it to? Well, your colleagues are an obvious audience. Even if you're the only cartographer, people will still enjoy the presentation. You can schedule an optional lunchtime brown bag session. Another option is your local geospatial community. Is there a map time in your city? A GIS meetup? An open source group? These organizations are always happy to have someone who wants to present. I gave mine last year to Seattle's Kugos. You can connect with a local university, especially if you're an alum and you know people there. I've given my NASIS presentation to the University of Washington GIS certificate program. And remember, <laughs> excuse me, remember, everyone loves maps, even non-cartographers, and your presentation will be full of cartographic eye candy. Don't be anxious about proposing your talk. I've always gotten a warm reception. And after that, Everyone knows you are a person who is in touch with the coolest stuff in cartography. You are a cartography expert. Your journey starts today. Here's my email address. If you do give a presentation about NASIS, please drop me a line and let me know how it went. Enjoy the conference. Are there any questions? One announcement I forgot to make. Uh, if you have questions after a talk, please raise your hand so Elaine can run around like mad trying to get the microphone to you. We have one from Rosemary. Rosemary Wardley, everyone. <laughs> okay. She asked how many years I've been doing this. Um, I've done it three years already. Any other questions? Going once, going twice? Sold. <laughs>